welcome to today's video. Different setup, long story, ignore it. Natasha Denona, that's what we're here to talk about. Miss Natasha Denona, she came up with a I Need a Rose collection and me being a Natasha Denona stan, had to pick some up. So apologies for how I look um, and my hair, my clothes, basically, Long story short, I'm in an Airbnb and I have been for a week. I won't get into it, but it's just, yeah. <laughs> and I also forgot my setting powder. So if you're seeing the creases under my eyes, you're just gonna have to deal with it because I, I forgot my powder, which is a sin for someone who's got oily skin like me. But let's move on. Let's not talk about it. Um, I was just on the Natasha Nona website, like checking the like description. This is a new formula. And I didn't know, I have a couple of the I Need A Nude lipsticks and I love them. Um, and I have one of her I Need A Nude liners and I love, I think the liner is the same formula. Um, but yeah, I'll just quickly read this. The liner is $22. The lipsticks are 25 each, um, which would be 75 for all three, but they do a trio, I'm just gonna they do a trio set, which is what I picked up for 66, so you save $9. So all together, I paid 88 dollars for that 20 dollars shipping to the uk so 108 dollars in total um i think in pounds that was only like seven i've got the number 78 in my head and i don't know why i will put it on the screen somewhere i might be lying about the 78 but for some reason that's the number i've got in my head so there's three new shades there's daphne which is a mauve pink peony which is like a softer pink and color which is a rosy brown so all three lipsticks have three matching liners and three matching lip glosses. I just picked up the lipsticks and the colour liner, which is the darkest one. Because uh, you guys not made money. Uh, Miss Natasha knows if you want to send me the rest, I would love that. But you guys not made money, so I decided I've got way too many lip glosses. So I thought I'll get all the lipsticks instead. I'll just quickly read because I didn't realise this was a new formula. So this is the description for the trio of lipsticks. Featuring all three shades of the I Need A Rose lipstick, this trio of Bloom Bright lipsticks includes Natasha Denona's new gel-based hydrating lipstick formula with a creamy, cushiony feel and luminous finish. Okay, and then it says what it does. By the way, these are vegan and cruelty free for anyone who is interested. Uh, there's a few other kind of like uh, alcohol free, paraben free, UV filters free, nanomaterials free, mineral oil free. And then it says, infused with antioxidant rich and anti-inflammatory papaya and aloe vera extract, I Need A Rose Lipstick defines and conditions lips while providing maximum moisture. I'm so sorry if you can hear how windy it is outside, it's crazy. Um, the lightweight creamy formula melts into skin and keeps lips plump and hydrated over time. How loud is that? Pair with the matching I Need A Rose Lip Crayon and I Need A Rose Lip Gloss, or mix shades for extra dimension. I'm gonna put the um, color lip liner on and then I'll do all three shades with the same lip liner because um, that is the only lip liner I've picked up. Um, and I will, at the end of the video, just show a clip of my arm just with the swatches on. I know I'm showing them on my actual lips, but just in case anybody is interested, I'll do it on my arm as well. I'm just looking at my lips and it is a good thing these are hydrating because boy, I look crusty. <laughs> I really hope this is the same formula as normal for the lip liners or lip crayons. I think that's what she calls it. Yeah, lip crayons. These are so creamy, so nice. I'm just going to stop talking and we'll go. This is such a beautiful lip liner. I went a little bit overboard overlining the top, but we're here now. Um, I'm just going to fill in kind of the sides a little bit. I'm going to start with Peony on top of this lip liner. This packaging is everything to me. The normal I Need Nude lipsticks are all in, I'll put a picture up, all in white packaging apart from the I Need Nude Amorosa lipstick, which is the one that came out with the Valentine's Day collection in 2021. So it took me a minute. I was going to say 20. Well, that's not true. It came out in 2021, I'm pretty sure. I have a video on that on my channel, if anyone wants to see it, I'll link it down below just in case. Um, but in the um, 
like love it was the mini love eyeshadow um palette and there was a, a cheek duo and then there was the amorosa lipstick and they all had this beautiful matching hot pink um like metallic -y packaging and it looks like these are going to have the same but i think they're all going to be slightly different should i get them all out i think they're all probably going to be slightly oh yeah slightly different shades that is stunning let's start with peony so beautiful it's got like a it smells like the other ones i'm pretty sure it's just got like a very light scent it kind of smells a little bit vanilla-y it's not that strong it's cute i like it but let's start the color is beautiful let's start there the formula feels very soft i will say i probably again i'm in this random every week it's a long story i don't have any of my normal stuff i don't have my lip scrub or anything so my lips are looking a bit crusty i'm going to be so real so i think that it would probably be nicer if i wasn't looking so crusty <laughs> i'm just being honest but the color is beautiful i really like how this is pairing i'm glad i've only got the darker shade of lip liner just because i like the kind of ombre so it would be unlikely that i would use the peony the light shade pink lip liner with this but this is this is a beautiful combo and i don't have i don't believe i don't know if, i don't think i have a color like this in my collection now i do even though my lips are a little bit crusty i actually think this is making them look smoother than they are without the lipstick on i was like oh they're looking a bit bumpy a bit crusty like they need to be exfoliated really but actually now that the lipstick is on i think they look super cute very soft very satiny definitely does feel different to the other i mean the nude lipsticks that this one says it's a gel based hydrating lipstick the other ones look more matte they're not like drying and super matte but they definitely feel a little thicker on the lips this feels very very lightweight i like it i like it i like this color a lot I definitely feel like this like finish looks like you put a normal lipstick on and just did a dab of lip gloss in the middle to make it look a bit shinier i feel like that's what this looks like i hope that makes sense to everyone but this is the first shade penny i'm gonna take it off redo the um color lip liner and then we'll get back to do daphne so i've just wiped that lipstick off and i don't know if you can see my lips look so much nicer now than they did before it went on like they just don't look as crusty they look plump my lips look nice now i've still got a bit of lip liner around the edge that i haven't wiped off yet i might keep it to be fair because i'm just going to add it back on but the point was um this was hydrating in the literal like four minutes i had this on so <laughs> i'm impressed so just to reiterate that peony was the softer pink this is the mauve pink and the color which is next is the rosy brown So this is the shade Daphne Stunning. These are the two next to each other, so Peony and Daphne. Um, the packaging looks so different. And then the um, color shade, the packaging makes the three shades look incredibly different. Um, like you'd be thinking this might be like a berry, but actually you can see that Peony and Daphne aren't miles and miles away. This is just a slightly darker version. The other one was more of a kind of cool tone pink. And this one is more like a purpley, like mauve colour pink. Um, but they're not as like wildly different as the packaging looks. Um, and this isn't going to be wildly, wildly different either, I suspect. But this is Daphne. I think she looks stunning. And now for the final shade, colour. I also think it would be so cool if in the I Need a Nude range, Natasha went back and like upgraded all the packaging from the white to having the outside packaging be similar to the inside packaging. I know that probably be really expensive, so like I'm obviously not expecting her to, but that would be very cool and I would definitely <laughs> buy some more just to have it in the nice packaging. <laughs> but let's go on with colour. So I've just got the colour lip liner on again as with the other two. that that's stunning that is definitely 
I'm trying to hold it not I basically I can't see myself I've literally just got my phone pointing at me like with my back camera so I've got no idea if any of this is in short if you can actually see me applying so I'm just trying to put my mirror like exactly sideways so that you can still see and I'm not just doing this um I should be back in my normal setup soon but this shade is absolutely beautiful this is this is so stunning to me so that's all three colors and I have some thoughts so first off it will start with the lip liner because that's the easiest shade color mp 1.5 stunning shade I love this shade I'm very glad I didn't bother getting all three just because I don't think I would have used especially peony peony was quite light I personally don't think I would use that very often um, if ever um, I was tempted to get Daphne as well but like I said your girl's not made the money so I just opted to get this one I think this looked beautiful with all three of the shades so, and this lip liner creamy pigment gorgeous I love the Natasha uh, well, I think they're called lip crayons yeah lip crayons I really recommend them and this has just solidified that more for me new formula really nice it is different to the well obviously it's new formula but i mean very different to the normal uh, i need a nude lipsticks so this is definitely more of a satin finish um shiny very smooth it's very lightweight actually um not that the other ones are super heavy but this is definitely lighter weight than the other lipstick formula but if you really love the i need a nude sort of slightly more matte finish uh, slightly different formula these are literally not the same not anywhere near the same they feel very different so just in case you wanted to pick these up because you thought they were going to be the same formula i didn't even realize i just picked them up because i like the colors um they're not they do still feel really nice packaging stunning i love that they've got the colors on the outside i do think these are a little dramatic for the actual colors that they are um especially this like berry <laughs> it's not a berry we just saw it uh, and that's just me being fussy um i actually love that the packaging is different colors for the different lipsticks and if natasha Nina was to do that for the i need a nude collection instead of having the white packaging the white packaging is cool but if it was the colored packaging i think i'd just have to open my purse and buy as many as i could afford <laughs> but i do have one issue that i just feel like i want to mention um i'm gonna put up a photo of the i need a nude lipstick shade range um, just when you look at this range, you can see that there are a whole range of shades and undertones and this really is um, I can't remember where I read it or where I heard it But I was on I think it might have been like her a live stream or something on Instagram or something like that But she was just like this is creative because you just always need a nude for all these different people My point here is I just don't feel that this got that same energy. I really just think there could have been a darker shade or a darker lip liner just based on the swatches there could have been something darker just to round off a rosy collection um, or there could have been instead of having matching color lip liners there could have been um, slightly darker lip liners to go with each one anyone can obviously use any lip liner that they want they don't have to use oops, you know a matching one necessarily but it just feels like there probably could have been one more and especially because um from what i've seen natasha nona seems to be very inclusive across her entire range all of her campaign shoots all of her swatches all of the i need a nude lipsticks the eyeshadows with the um she just came out with that glam palette with the light and the dark you know so it just feels like it just really feels like there should have been one more shade at least with another darker liner again that's just my opinion it's just something i was thinking about but overall formula really incredible do you need all three no but i'm very glad i have all three if you pick up anything make it a lip liner not necessarily from this collection just her lip liners in general are incredible i have always been a big fan of the lip liners uh, since i first tried them so this was not a disappointment this just you know really solidified how i feel about these i love them and the lipstick's very different formula but still really really nice i like all three shades um i actually particularly liked peony and i wasn't expecting to um just that combo with the darker lip liner and peony 
I think it's because I haven't got a lip shade like that as well. So it was like my first time kind of seeing that kind of combo. I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. But those are the colours and my opinions. So thank you so much for watching. Anything you want to let me know down below, please do. Do you like the colours? What do you think of the shade range? What do you think of the lip glosses? Are you picking one up? Should I have picked one up? Anything you want to let me know, I would love to hear from you down below. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. It means so much to me. And I will see you in my next video.